everybody, so we are doing an unboxing. It is the outside box, so we decided to come outside and see what this month's uh, theme has us do. So if you don't know what the outside box is, basically it's a monthly subscription. Uh, it just gets you outside. It's an activity for you and some other people. And you can be of any, I guess, age or athletic ability, and you should be able to handle hopefully whatever is inside this box. So let's open it up and see what this month's is. All right, so we got the tissue paper. All right, lots of tissue paper. First thing I see is some dual-ended colored pencils, which is kind of funny. Rory and I were just looking at dual-ended colored pencils the other day in the store. It's no joke. And we got some big wildlife my nature journal. Whoa, okay, so that's what this looks like. It is thick. All right. Uh, life is an adventure. This is not the destination we reach. That is the most rewarding. It's the journey along the way. So write it down and treasure the memory forever. Uh, all right. So I've gotten many versions of these before, but it looks like you just put the date, the time, the season, the weather condition, what you saw, uh, location, sightings, companions, details of sightings, signs, clues, such as tracks, uh, scat. Fur, etc. Most memorable moments of the encounter, wisdom, game. Oh, and then there's a, a, a part here, I don't know if that's going to focus, where you can sketch. You can sketch a photo. So I guess that's what the colored pencils are also for. So let's see the paper that came with it. Uh, the theme is Back to Nature. You should have one nature journal, 12 colored pencils that are dual ended, so it ends up being 24 colored pencils. And then the pencil sharpener, which was at the top of the box. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to take up a lot of room at all. Um, and then there is a blog on here that I guess talks about, oh, three tips for observing nature. So I guess we need to go observe nature. Man, the place we're at usually has, like, a ton of deer. And I bet you we don't see any while we're out right now. But we'll find something. You ready to go? Draw? I'm going to do that tree. You want to draw that tree? Mm -hmm. We got like all kinds of stuff. We got like, you can't see, but behind us is like cannons. Uh, there's a cool little bridge that has a little stream underneath it. Lots of monuments. Lots of monuments. Uh, but lots of trees. Definitely lots of trees. And a goofy dog running around behind us over here, which is Percy. All right, um, I guess uh, I'm going to let Rory draw because he's much better at it than me. My stick figures are. Not so good. So I'm going to let him draw and uh, we'll see what he comes up with. You ready? You up for the challenge? Alright. Alright, so fast forward ahead like 10, 15, 20 minutes. I don't know how long it's taken. But I uh, filled out the book. I'll show you a little bit about what we filled out. Alright, here's the pencils. Alright, so I don't know if you can read it. Uh, the date, yes it is Christmas Day. Uh, can you believe how beautiful it is here on Christmas Day? Um, this is pretty much... You know, we came out because it's sometimes hard for us to find the same days off. And of course, Christmas Day is just gonna be easy. One of those days where I had like a quick little moment break in the day. So we decided to come out here and test out the outside box. Okay, so it's about 5 p.m. It is actually winter, but it is sunny and cloudy, uh, 70 degrees. Uh, what I saw, uh, I saw my dog Percy. Buddy! <whistles> Percy! Come here, buddy! You're listening really well. All right, he's not, he's not listening. Uh, I also saw, I should have probably put birds, but I really only saw one, even though it sounds like there's a bunch up there. Uh, we're in Georgia. My sighting companion was Rory. Rory. Uh, let's see what else here. Details of sightings, trees, leaves, sunset, cannons, bugs, monuments. I could probably keep the list going on and on. Uh, we didn't see any tracks or fur or anything like that. Uh, I didn't really write down our most memorable moment or wisdom that we gained because we really didn't go very far beyond this bench. I also didn't put any notes here, but oh, here is the scratch pad. Oh, sorry, sketch photo that Rory drew of that tree right there. Let's see if I can. Oh, come on now. Like I, like I was shooting for realism. That's pretty good. I think you did a fantastic job. Okay. I think you did a good job. I, I think, 
I think you did a good job. I think it looks really good. Much, much better than I can do. Don't sell yourself short. All right, guys, so that is it for today with the outside box. The sun is setting, so I'm going to go ahead and put the camera away. Uh, go home, and since it is Christmas, I'm going to go watch the Broncos. God, hopefully beat the uh, Chiefs. But they're kind of a broken team right now. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, if you ever want to do your own outside box, I believe you go to theoutsidebox.com. I will put the link in the description below if you're interested in your own. And until next time, we will see you guys later. Bye!